Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn uh, how to configure SAML 2.2 for a Cisco FTD VPN step-by-step -step configuration. Let's go into the session. <laughs> SAML is a federated authentication uh, mechanism for corporate. In the SAML uh, authentication process, there are two providers involved, identity provider and the service provider. Just for your um, easy understanding, identity provider is where your authentication happens and service provider is uh, the actual source is actually providing, uh, requesting the authentication. So in this case, service provider would be this FTD firewall. Identity provider would be Okta. So I'm going to use Okta for SAML authentication. In in order to uh, complete the SAML authentication, what we would do is we have to create the necessary steps on the Okta application for that to go and complete the rest of uh, configuration on the Cisco FTD. First part will be on the Okta and the uh, second part will be on the Cisco FTD. Let, let us understand what are the parts or what are the configuration we have to uh, focus on to complete in the uh, Okta side. So once you are uh, on the Okta console, you have to go to applications and uh, try to add application as Cisco. ASA. You will find uh, two types of uh, integration of integrated application, radius and SAML. You will have to choose a SAML. Click and add. So in the bracket, we will see it supported SAML authentication. So once you are in the um, console, I mean um, the specific application, try to use uh, name that you are applicable for your infrastructure. I'm just going to use uh, some testing name. So you can just choose whether uh, you want to display the application to an application icon to the users. I don't want to to do that the same for the Okta mobile application also I'm selecting both and clicking done yeah this on the next page you have to click on the sign on once you're on the sign on what you have to do just click on the identity provider metadata or view setup instruction this has the necessary information for you to um, get back to uh, Cisco FTD to configure the second portion of configuration so this is the metadata so with this metadata we are going to configure uh, some of the steps in the uh, family configuration steps in the uh, Cisco FTD. Once you are on the FMC Firewall Management Console, go to Device Certificate. On the certificate, you have to uh, click on the uh, select the device that you wanted to add uh, the certificate that uh, has been provided or availed by the uh, the metadata. Select the device and click the plus button for your own understanding and select enrollment type as manual. And then go back to your um, Okta Console where we have created the application. You can click uh, Identity provider metadata or view setup instruction that will give you the, the certificate in a base 64 encoded format just copy the whole line including the begin certificate and the end certificate portion just right click copy and come back to fmc select ca only paste the content that you have copied we don't want to do the ca flag in basic instruction this check select that try to save it so this will enable sorry this will try to install the certificate on the box so try to add this will take a couple of uh, moments to get the certificate installed as soon as the certificate installed we we should be able to see the certificate ca certificate is ready we are importing the public public certificate of identity provider into the service provider just to get authenticated within the box itself so you have the ca certificate is now available so based on this you should be able to uh, go to the uh, next step then on the next step click on the object object management go to triple a server navigate to a single sign-on server and try to add a single sign-on server name it for uh, your convenience so then you will have to start filling the required uh, authentication parameter for single sign-on saml configuration identity provider entity id so this is something you can able to pick it up from the metadata that you have received so entity id and identity provider entity id are same just take only the url portion what need for you to get configured paste it ssr url is nothing but the login URL you can see as a single sign on service for post HTTP port just copy only the URL portion double code copy this FMC paste and then logout URL logout URL is not necessary but the, you, you can still configure it which is available on the same metadata so just copy only the uh, the URL portion don't copy the double code paste it and then uh, base64 
is your based on your uh, infrastructure you can just use uh, something specific to your uh, environment testing dot com so this url is nothing but the fkdn of the any connect firewall the any connect firewall can be accessible from internet the any connect firewall should need to be installed with the ssl certificate uh, we already seen how to install the uh, ssl certificate on the uh, any connect firewall with that the ssl certificate you must be associated an fqdn to an specific uh, ip so this is that uh, fqdn of your any connect firewall then choose your identity provider certificate which is which you got installed in in, in the previous step i'm selecting the one which i imported just before and choose the service provider certificate like i mentioned this is uh, on the any connect firewall side i'm choosing what i have installed before and rest everything is same and you can just uh, click on save that's it uh, the configuration of a single sign-on server is completed all you just need to uh, use the single sign-on uh, configuration bind it to your group policy now let's move to the next step go to device uh, remote access and select a device where you got uh, you wanted to uh, specify the sample authentication configuration select a device and uh, click on the panel group or connection profile what, what you wanted to select click edit it and go to um, group policy triple a authentication method as saml and select authentication method what you have uh, recently configured and then click save and save the configuration so right now the configuration you have done only in the uh, fmc side you'll have to uh, deploy the configuration in order to take that uh, changes effect further to for you to take out the metadata that uh, got installed on the ftd side so deploy the configuration okay the deployment has completed now let's go to uh, the um, ftd console uh, using putty so once you are under putty uh, choose the command show saml metadata and use the uh, panel group name that you have uh, configured so you have the f metadata ready with you for you to complete uh, the rest of the configuration on octa console so copy all the metadata information what you have shown here in this console let's jump on to um, octa console once you are on the octa console go back to the same application what you have configured initially click on edit choose enable single logout you'll have to upload uh, the um, device certificate or the service provider certificate what you have uh, for your uh, company just click upload we have to fill the uh, rest of the configuration like access and consumer service url service provider entity id and the single logout url we have to copy all those information from the uh, metadata that we have here access and url is nothing but the the last portion access and consumer service url so only choose the url portion not the double code selected paste it here then uh, service provider uh, entity id is something is available in the above entity id again choose only the url portion paste it here single logout url single logout service and then choose the only uh, pre url portion paste it here application username um, most of the companies will use uh, Okta username only because uh, Active Directory will be synced up on the Okta side. Uh, update application username, create an update. Anything that uh, will be created newly as a new user so will automatically get updated on the Okta. We need to uh, hierarchy the same configuration for this application as well. Then click on save. That's it. You're pretty much done with uh, your sample configuration both the identity service, identity service side as well as uh, service provider side. Thanks everyone. Let's uh, catch up in the next video.